<laughs> All right, we're just coming. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, they still got power up here. All right. <laughs> I don't know. We are we are now joined by the firm and Paladins, the 2023 Southern Conference Men's Basketball Champions. Uh, we have head coach Bob Ritchie along with student athletes Jalen Slauson, J.P. Pagese, and Mike Bothwell. Uh, we'll have an opening statement and then questions. Coach, take it away. Well, a lot you can say about tonight, a lot you can say about the last year of our lives, but um, man, unbelievable. I mean, just to see the joy in our players and I told my staff this morning, I just, I wanted to see this so bad for Mike and Slaw. And really, you know, this guy to my left, just, I mean, two hours last night, just getting fluids, just played like an absolute warrior tonight. But you know what? I wouldn't change a thing about this. I sat up here a year ago and told y'all that we would be back. And, um, you know, one of my favorite verses is counted all joy when you face trials of many and that it will build long suffering. <clears throat> And that long suffering will then make you perfect and complete, lacking nothing. And that's what we tried to do the last year. We tried to just count it all joy. And I, I didn't know exactly it was one of the hardest things I've ever been through. But, you know, glory to God for allowing, for allowing me to be the leader of this. But this is just an unbelievable group of people. And this isn't a person. This isn't a player. This is a program. And there's a lot of people that didn't think we'd do this. And that's, 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 really what, that's really what got us going, to, to be honest with you. They thought last year was going to push us back. And, um, but instead, all it did was it motivated us to come together. And it's an unbelievable story in sport right now because sport's so tra transitional. And we're always looking for the next thing. And if there's pain, we flee. And if it's not how we want it, we run. And we look for the, the dollar amount. And we look for the level but we're missing out. We're missing out on life lesson, right? Of like stick to itiveness and connection and being a part of something that's bigger than yourself. You can ask these guys what they got to stay here. It wasn't anything. They wanted to be here. They, want, they wanted to have an opportunity to come out here and learn through this. They could, these two over here could have gone anywhere, but they would have missed out. And it's, and it's the missing part of what we're doing right now. But you know what? It's what our program's built on. And um, tonight was just an opportunity for us to go display that. And I told the team today, I said, you know, we've learned a lot this year. And we have. There's no doubt about it. I've learned a lot as a leader. They've all learned as players. But when you have an opportunity in sport to be a teacher, we knew the world was watching our response. And we talked about it for 12 months. And we had, a, we had a group of people that got caught on to this story and we were able to inspire them because of how we responded and the fact that we stayed together and the fact that even in this year, you know, we lose to a Big Ten team and people want to count us out, right? We lose two of, two of the first six in the league and people want to count us out. We noticed, but internally they kept believing. They won 14 in the last 15 and they came up here. They won the regular season on the road and they were regular season champs. And they wanted to come up here and eliminate all doubt, and they did. And um, I just want to reiterate how much I love them. Every single person in our program, how proud I am of them. And um, this is a program night. This is a Furman University night. I wasn't born in 1980, but I don't have to hear that mess again. <laughs> and I thank God for that. Questions, front row. I know from two years experience that you are not superstitious and so did those troubles in Asheville did they they did they gnaw at you in any other way than just saying we lost we got to do better we got to be better next time oh I wish it was that easy you know I mean I, you, you have to decide how you're gonna learn from it and look we came into the year with high expectation and no higher than our own but we knew, we knew we had some guys that had to grow up. And uh, J.P. Pagese right here, I mean, unbelievable tournament, right? Sophomore. Alex Williams made some plays tonight. Ben Vanderwall, all freshman team. Tyrese Huey came in tonight and gave us some big minutes. Carter Witt, 
the big three in the first half. And they'll be the first to tell you it's about the collective. And I just think that's what grew this year. Like, we talked about it this morning. This, this, I thought we lost a little bit of joy just having this feeling that we had to win every game. And I told him, I told him this morning, I said, look, the story's going to be, oh, you're playing Chattanooga again. And I said, look, this isn't about, hey, we're playing Chattanooga again. This is about us going out and finding our joy and making sure that we go, we go play for Furman. And, um, you know, I thought they did that tonight. You know, I thought, I thought, and that's what you, that's what you learn through this. You learn, you learn, you know, I mean, look, we've had some tough losses up here. I mean, we've had, we've had some upsets. We've been home on Saturday. Um, first, first couple years of my tenure, we're home on Sunday. Last year, we lose at the buzzer. And um, I tell you what, I wouldn't change a thing about it. You can see progression every single year. And um, I just, I, I just can't say it enough. I couldn't be more proud of, of these guys sitting by me and also to everybody in that locker room. And uh, it's a credit to everybody that was a part of this. More questions from the room? Second row. Uh, Mike, uh, tonight, um, I'm sorry if you've already been asked this, but you know, you had such a big game last year in the final, and it, it seemed like you had, you know, the winning shot and everything like that. But, um, you know, you were doing some things well, but scoreless in the first half, and just you wanted that ball down the stretch because you knew, I mean, it looked like you wanted the ball because you knew you were going to knock down the free throws tonight after, you know, some struggles last night. Yeah, I mean, if you know me, you know all I care about is winning. Um, so zero points at halftime, I could care less. Um, I, that's not going to shake my confidence, especially when I got the best point guard in the league on my team that's killing it all, turn, all year. Um, I got Jalen Slauson, my, my best friend, this playing his butt off. I could care less how many points I have. We were winning at halftime, so I was happy as can be. Down the stretch, I was just trying to play the game like I would any other game. It wasn't, it wasn't about, oh, I hadn't scored yet, or oh, I have to win this for our team. I was just trying to make the plays that was necessary. And you know, when you got the best point guard in the league that got absolutely snubbed on all conference, but I mean, nobody's gonna be asking about that no more because he got that all, uh, most outstanding player. But um, when you got him, and you got Slaw, and you got all our weapons, and they're they're playing well. Marcus Foster, them two threes at the end. Oh my goodness! When when everyone's out there feeling good, they gotta respect everyone. So it just opens up things for me. And today was just at the end. That's how I was able to get fouled and get um, get to the line because you know people were converging and um, pressing up on JP and you know it's just that's just what it's all about a team victory the best part about it is again four double digit scores almost almost five of them it's just a f perfect farming game so next question third row John um, coach Richie uh, so 364 some odd days ago um, you were sitting obviously in a different position with to dealing with that shot. Now you can talk about it. Um, to see both Mike and Jalen come back, and you, you don't always know how that's going to go. But just describe to me how happy you are for them. Well, let me just say a few things about both of them. I mean, I'm gonna miss them. You know, we're not done, right? Like. Our whole drive was to come up here and win, but like we're, we, we've got more to do, and we fully believe that. But they're great players, but their person has grown so much in their time at this program. And um, to see how they handled it, you know, to see how they handled this year. You know, last year they had Alex Hunter and Conley Garrison, two fifth-year guys, and I really felt like this was the first year they had to own the full burden. But the neat thing about it, and I told him this this morning, I said, this, this, this win tonight is the reward. This isn't the validation. This is the reward. The growth is already evident, right? The composure that Jalen Slauson's been playing with, right? The leadership that Mike Bothwell has learned, right? How much more vocal he's been coming out of halftime of the first round game to look at the team and say, follow my energy. And, and I think when they look back on this, first of all, they became legendary tonight. Right, like, I don't know when, where, how, but those, those two, 20 and three, they're going in the rafters. They're the all-time winners players in school history here. And when they look back on this, and when they bring their kids back, and they come back to Furman, it's gonna be even more special than it is now. 
You know, they're going to re reap, the, you know, you reap what you sow. And they stayed with it. They had the guts to do that. You know, they had the conviction in their teammates to do that. They had the faith in the coaching staff to do that. And, um, you know, we got former players all over that court right now. Jeff Beans, Daniel Fowler, Rob Swanson, Andrew Brown, Paul Foster, Nick Sanders. I, and I'm, I'm missing some people. But they came back to win this thing for the program. And um, they love Furman. And when we started to turn this, that was the whole thing. Like, we had to find people that wanted to be here. And we had to find people that wanted to take pride in putting that jersey on. And uh, tonight, they did that. More questions from the room? The second row. <coughs> Coach Richie, you and Mike Monroe worked with each other at Charleston Southern and obviously have a good relationship. Noting that they won the Big South Championship yesterday and you guys won the SOCON Championship tonight, how does it feel knowing that you guys both made your first NCAA tournament appearance as a head coach this season? I texted him last night. He told me it was coming. I said, man, that's going to be unbelievable if that happens. And um, you know what? He inspired me a little bit watching that yesterday. We got here yesterday, and we were waiting for our game, and I got to see his finish. I mean, they were down 14 with like seven minutes to go. And they went on a 25-7 to seven run. And, you know, Mike and I were only together for one year, and he was up there sitting in the stands tonight, and he was, he was here to support. And, um, you know, we both run our programs, and we talk to each other and throw ideas off each other. But I can't be more happy for him and, you know, what he's been able to build there and the growth of that program there. And I'll tell you a funny story. Like, we scrimmage them every year. And I knew they were going to be good. They pressed in first scrimmage, but they popped us. And uh, it was great for us, you know, but I knew he was going to have a great season. And, you know, he, he's, it's, been, it's been an unbelievable deal. I mean, we were together at Charleston Southern. I learned a lot at Charleston Southern. You know, my first boss, Barkley Ray Ball, allowed me to do a lot of things. And he allowed me to touch every part of the business in a five-year span from the age of 23 to 28. And really all my bosses allowed me to grow but he was the first one that gave me an opportunity. And, um, you know, obviously Jeff Jackson gave me an opportunity to come to Furman. And then I got to work for Nico Medved for four years and really started to, to build what we had to do culture-wise. And it's just a great, it's a great journey. And, um, you know, there's a lot of people that obviously I could thank. But tonight's about Furman. Tonight's about these players. And um, tonight's about the Denzer dancing. More questions for the student athletes, perhaps? Third row. I actually had a co question for Coach. Okay. Um, how big was JP's performance during this tournament tonight, even though he didn't have the best shooting performance from deep? Well, I, yeah. What was that? Even though he didn't have the best shooting performance? Yeah, but like, how was he? But he had 17. He had 17 and four tonight. Yeah. Made some huge plays. I hear you. I mean, yeah. I'm sure he wanted to make a few more shots. But look, I could spend 20 minutes talking about JP and just the journey, you know, and. I don't think he was on the all-rookie team last year, you know. <laughs> we keep a few receipts around here. <laughs> um, didn't make the all-rookie team, you know. We've had our share of disrespect, but our guys just keep pushing. And he, he, got, he didn't make the all-conference team. I think he had 24-8 and eight in a game on the road at Spartanburg. I think he's averaging like 21 a game his last five. You know, like he has 20 on the road to win a championship in Birmingham. I mean, it was on national TV. I'm, I'm assuming everybody saw it. You know, so, like, I don't know what to tell you, you know. Like, we got, we got to make sure, like, we saw this growing. We saw this coming. And, um, you know, first couple games, yeah, I mean, okay, so he's got to go against Penn State, Old Dominion, South Carolina, Belmont. He's got to go on the road to App State, right? Like, of course, like, as a coach, I had to stand by him. And I had to tell him how much I believed in him. And I had to, I had to make sure that we knew that, hey, we're going to put the ball in your hands and let you go. And, um, man, you look at it tonight, and that's the beauty of a team. Slauson goes for 20. JP goes for 17. Mike goes for 16. Oh, and there's another sophomore, Alex Williams, goes for 12. You know, and they'll be the first to tell you. Like, they got weapons, and they, lo they love playing with each other. And so, look, we kind of smile about that stuff. I, I, I don't think JP would mind me telling everybody this, but I asked him the next day. I said, are you all right? You know, when he, when he saw the all-conference ballots, I said, you doing okay? And he goes, yeah, I'm just fine. He said, I've been looked over my whole life. I'm used to it. And when, when he said that, I said, he about to play some ball in Nashville. Hmm. And uh, boy, did he. We have time for a couple more, maybe one for JP, one for, for Jalen, please. 
Hey, he's the, he's the first point guard I've had. He called a play tonight without even – I mean, he just – right before halftime, he didn't even look at me. He, <laughs> he just called up, and he scored it. And so <laughs> I'm going to let him call a lot of plays the next two years. Jalen, you and Mike know your coach very, very well. And from covering the team, he reminds me of a chef who's got his pot of chili or or – Low country bog, just about right, but it needs a few more ingredients. And that's what this season has been to me. It, it seems that, you know, everybody just gradually stirred the new stuff in, and it's a championship. Um, well, you know, we always, he always brags on us about how much better we're getting, and you guys get to see our growth. But y'all don't really get to see his growth and how much he's grown. Um, so I, it's not necessarily new ingredients. It's just perfecting the amounts that you had in there. Yeah. And he's worked his tail off since, since, the, since the shot went in last year. Um, you know, we knew he had a different energy about him the first practice we had this summer. Um, and he told us, he was like, I'm not relenting on y'all, and y'all are going to thank me when we get to Asheville. And by God, I thank him right now. Um, <laughs> But yeah, he, he, he works his tail off. Our whole staff works their tail off. And, you know, they get better each and every day, just like we do. Um, they, you know, a lot of staffs, when they're not in practice, they're home or whatever. When you walk in our, our office from any time from 6.30 to, to 8, 9 at night, there's somebody in there. And, you know, from about 8 to 6, there's, their offices are full. I want to brag on my coach, too, for a second. Um, Man, I just remember the first call. I was a junior in high school, and he called me and said, I'm Coach Richie. I just got the job here, and I've seen you play, and I want to offer you. And I had no idea who he was. <laughs> but, man, I'm glad I made the greatest decision in my life to come here. And it's funny how uh, he's not the biggest LeBron fan in the world, but it's crazy how you get treated like him. Continue, ex continue excellence does not get rewarded. Just like Braun, he could average 30 and no one thinks he's good anymore. Coach Richie gets 25 wins every year and no one wants to reward him. No coach of the year, none of that. It's okay because I know he got what he really wanted tonight. So um, I just got to brag on my coach because I'm just thankful he, he, he took on a chance on a kid from Cleveland Heights. He didn't have to, but I'm, I'm, like Jalen said, I'm so glad he did. Second row. JP, you've been in the championship now both years you've played it. It's hard to get here, really. Trust me, um, but uh, what? Uh, how you know coming into this new role this year? At what point did you feel like it's mine? I could take that next step to kind of lead this team, or was there a point like that during there, or was this gradual all year? And how happy are you for your two teammates up here? Um, answering your second question first, I'm extremely happy for these guys. Um, this season. I understood and I still understand that like it's not it's not about me. It's not about you know what what I can get out of this. You I feel like I've learned and I like the results been better when I've played harder for others. And uh knowing these two guys since their last year and seeing them give everything they have that inspired me, that inspired the team and uh at the end of the day like we just wanted to do it for them because we know they came back and they wanted a goal, the same goal as us. And um, I mean, like I said, we just we just came in, worked day in and day out together. They led us the whole journey, the whole process, and I'm super proud of these guys. But um, I mean, answering your first question, I I would say that also it's been a journey for me. Uh, it's just something that I've molded into, and then I you know I had a routine, I had a process that I said I'd follow. My coaches, my family, my teammates, they always believed in me from day one. Even on my worst days, there wasn't any question about who I could be because they know and they've seen different sparks and stuff of who I can be on the court as a point guard and as a leader. And uh, just today, for it to come all, you know, for it to come all together, I'm really happy about that. Any other questions from the room? One thing to add, too, there was a really cool moment tonight of Mike. He came up to me in the second half. I was just looking at the minutes. And he said, hey, we're going to win this all together. Get Carter in. And I'm looking at the minutes here. We won a championship, and nobody played over 33 minutes. And it was just Mike. But it, w it took everybody. 
And for a fifth year player to understand the value of that, it continues to resonate what this program is about. And um, what a night, what a night to be at Den. I think that's a great way to finish it up. Thank you, coach. Congratulations. Good luck in the NCAA tournament. Thank you.